Hey guys, it's Alicia and you're watching NFE Web TV and I'm standing here with the host. I mean, these guys run the show, so it's time to take a break. I'm gonna do the hosting now. So, <laughs> Miss Haley, how did you get started in this game? Um, I started actually, I started modeling when I was a kid and how I started modeling was I was at a restaurant and Cindy Crawford, it sounds like the most ridiculous story, but I like to tell it because it's so like, out, it's so crazy to me. Cindy Crawford came up to my dad who was with me at the time at this restaurant in Malibu and was like, you should get your daughter on a modeling and blah, blah. So I did it for a little bit when I was a kid and then, um, uh, but I got into it on my own later on, just on totally my own accord without my parents. Um, and I started doing like modeling and acting cool. and eventually I booked a show called Deal or No Deal, which has led I think to we've all heard of that show. <laughs> Thank you. Um, which has led to a ton of other acting uh, jobs, and I love music, and so I and I also love hosting, but I especially love hosting music shows. That's kind of been like a little, like my little like niche thing on the side or whatever. Um, and I'm really impressed with myself because I think I just pronounced niche correctly. Um, I think I was saying niche for like two years, five years, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it's been a long day. Um, <laughs> so so yeah, so and then I uh, so hosting and acting have kind of been going um, hand in hand, and then I got hooked up with this show, which I'm really, really, really excited about. Well, you're doing an awesome job. But what about you, Mr. Prolific? Did Cindy Crawford discover you too? Yes, and she was like, "Don't go into modeling." So I, I didn't. I, I went into radio. I actually have been involved in radio since '05 with Clear Channel, and um, uh, I'm nationally syndicated. And and then that kind of uh, bled over into TV somehow. Not really sure. What happens? Yeah, yeah. What happens? So um, I do the CW locally uh, back in Connecticut. And I work for the CW. Well, I work for CW in Arizona, so we're family now. Oh, we are family. We, All right. I have a show that's about to air on the CW, too. It's called Mr. Box Office, and it's a new show with uh, Vivica A. Fox, Bill Bellamy, um, John Lovitz. It's a great cast, but it's going to be on the CW. So you guys sound, both of you, extremely busy. How did you fit this in your schedule? Um, you know, I, it's pretty funny. I actually pre-recorded 48 shows the week prior to this um, in order to come out here. And I actually went to the Burbank studios as well while I was here banging out some shows. So uh, it's it's been uh, interesting. You've managed to make it juggle. So what's different about Real Music Live than any of their events that you've hosted? Um, I would say just the fact that they're they're really uh, scouting out uh, and bringing on board artists that do this for real. I mean, there's no there's no lip syncing. These guys could get up there with just a microphone and really shut it down. So I mean, there's no smoke and mirrors. I think this is the the true essence mm -hmm. of of live music. What's been your favorite so far? My favorite so far has been getting to see all the bands perform. Like I said, I'm a huge music snob. So you know when we could be back here just like chilling in the trailer I'm like oh hell no I'm gonna be watching the show so I've been going out I've seen all the artists perform I'm blown away by all of them and another thing that I love about this show is I've hosted a lot of things that have been like like hip-hop music or rock music or whatever just one genre mm -hmm. but this we've got pop everything. we've got you know like soul music we've got R&B you know there's something for everybody in this show and it's just really diverse which I, I love that for sure so for everyone watching right now on the web they want to know a day in the life of a host. So walk us through a day um, for today, for example, from the moment you woke up to right now, just a day. You you wake up at like 12, 30 in the afternoon and then you like go to yoga and then <laughs> and then you like go shopping at Ketson. No, just kidding. You wake up super ridiculously early. You text your co-host, hey, do you want coffee? Hey, yes, but I don't even know if I could wait an hour. I'm going to grab stuff and running around talking to agents. We've been like just going non-stop. And right. we both, we, he leaves the other day, so, uh, tomorrow. So we were trying to like even just grab like, you know, hang out a little bit. But I ended up getting a huge, huge meeting in the morning, as does he for like acting stuff. So it's like we're, we're really busy, right? You gotta learn how to juggle it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just absurd and I mean as far as like a, a day goes on on set here um, a lot of changing we change like a bajillion times Haley's seen me naked a lot um, <laughs> yes. it's, it's it's been great and I just realized that you answered the question correctly and I didn't that's, <laughs> what I I that's I, how tired our I hosts get here meant, at Real Music Live I thought she just meant like a day in the like I don't know I don't know I thought she just meant like a day in the life it's of okay. like okay uh, but I should have just right, answered it. A date in the life on the set of, of Real Music Live. Okay, so we come in, Real Music Live. Cut that. Cut. We're starting over. <laughs> so <laughs> tired. So that just goes to show that they are working hard here at Real Music Live. So make sure you keep it locked right here because we have exclusive behind the scenes only on NFE Web TV.